Hello and welcome to my collection, the second part of a Super Nintendo collection. This is the typical box of the box games and this is maybe one of the best games for the system, Secret of Mana. This game is really, really awesome. I want to see, this was for all price tag here in Germany. So, this is a great thing. I was only, well, I was a little bit lazy, so I got only put this box out. So, there was another thing. This was called in German the Spieleberater, the Games Advisor. So, I do it a little bit faster. How good these things are. I got also, I found also the thing for Terranigma. If you're interested, in, maybe not only as a collector, as a gamer, these box games are absolutely great and all of them are absolutely a must have. So, this is the Secret of Mana module. I consider this one of the best games of all time and I love this game to death. I played it, I think, three times till the end. I think three times. Um, it's that good and it also has a great thing. You can play this game with three players at once. It's that great. Terranigma is a little bit more for the adult people. It's not so funny. Um, but it's a really great game and it has an amazing soundtrack. The... Um, what was it called? The Dark World? With a, the, the map theme? Amazing. Very on high standards. It's very great. It's in the league of Final Fantasy VI. It's that great. So, continue. Justice League Task Force. It's a real nice beat em up with the Justice League. It's really good. I think a lot of people uh, doesn't know that title, but it's really, really good. It, it's, it's, it's a good hint, believe me, it's worth it. This is the first F-Zero. It's a nice racer. It's m not the greatest racer on the Super Nintendo. Uh, Mario Kart is much better, but uh, F-Zero is really good. If you're interested in these kind of games, it's it's really good. But I think the the N64 version or some some other versions of this game are very better. But this is very basic and it's very okay. Secret of Evermore, not the sequel of Secret of Mana. No, 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 no. It's a complete different game. I think it was uh, made by Square USA, and it's very western like it's it's not this typical japan rpg uh, role playing something it's okay but i think where a lot of elements were not so great i think i i, I think i have I was a little bit harsh in the, the old days with this title it's not that bad but believe me with a box title i think this is the weakest uh so, I don't know what you think, please write it in the comments. Um, but it's, it's okay, but it's nothing really special. Lufia on the other side, it's much better. It's an amazing RPG, it's very good. I loved it, and I still love it. It's that great. Yes. This is WrestleMania, the arcade game. Uh, no. It's an arcade wrestling game uh, from Acclaim. No. I don't like it. I know where a lot of people think it's great, but it isn't. It's not that great. It's a beat em up with wrestling characters. Nothing more. It's that boring. The other side of boring. Fun! Wild and wacky spawns with tiny tunes. 
it's very great. It's a very par great parody of uh, hypersports, track and field games, interesting events. It's very enjoyable and still today I have a lot of fun with these games. Uh, this is a really good game. A lot, I know a lot of people didn't know something or doesn't know about this title, um, but it's really good, believe me. Mustang Quest Legend. I think in some countries called Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. It's a starter RPG. It was typical made for the Western idiots like us. And um, it's not in the same league like Final Fantasy or something else. Um, the story is a little bit thin. Um, uh, but believe me, this game is really playable. This game is better than its reputation and it has one thing that is absolutely great. This game has an amazing soundtrack where a boss themes were made from heaven, were so damn good. And I tell you, you have to get it because we're so, so damn good great. So, that was all of my collection. Now you see everything. So we're going to the seven minute mark. Um, here in Europe we have a lot of problems or issues with releases. So we don't get Earthbound, we don't get Chrono Trigger, we don't get Final Fantasy VI. Our first Final Fantasy was Final Fantasy VII on the PS1. Thanks to all the publishers and by the way thanks to Nintendo for not releasing the other games. So this was um, all about it and the next week where will be more. I don't know what what system I will represent or games or uh, I'll look it up. So if you're interested please rate, comment, subscribe if you want and see you and the next week. Bye-bye.